Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature of Duolingo. I've done a previous video on Duolingo and how it works. So if you want to know more of the other features and the basics of Duolingo, you can watch that video right on this channel. But in this video, I'm just going to show you this new feature. So let's go ahead and open it up. So you can see since if you've watched the first video that I did of Duolingo, you can see that some of the interface has changed just a little bit here. Now we have this uh, bar at the bottom where you can easily get to everything, um, the store, the uh, profile and everything like that. The store used to be in the upper right hand corner, but now you see practice there where you can practice your weak words. If you're anything like me, you've already been through all of these exercises all the way, um, and all you have to look forward to is this little gold bird at the bottom, and then uh, Duolingo just starts taking progress away from you, as you can see in these bars that aren't full anymore under each uh, topic. And basically, you just have to keep practicing things that you've done already over and over again. And in theory, that's a good thing to do, but I know a lot of this stuff. I knew a lot of this stuff when I started using it already, and it's just kind of boring now to keep doing the same things over and over again. So maybe to combat that, this morning I saw that there was a new thing on the bar at the bottom here and that's this chat button at the bottom you see the one that means I have a, a new chat available so I'm gonna go ahead and click that so this window here shows you all the chats that are available and you have to unlock them one by one so I have only done the first chat because like I said, this just showed up for me this morning. I'm not sure if it's something that has been available to other people before, but it only showed up for me today. And I've been done with the exercises for a little while now. This feature does not show up on my iPad, so I'm using my phone right now. Um, so I can only access this on my phone right now. So you can see at the bottom of these that they have uh, three possible stars and based on your performance in the chat, they assign you stars at the end and you get XP and everything just like you would in a regular exercise. So these chats basically simulate a, a regular chat as if you were chatting with a person in a text message or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do at least part of the first one so you can see how this works. And this might be cool for people if they're getting bored by the regular exercises and doing them over and over again because this is something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the welcome aboard one. So it tells you at the top what you're going to do in this uh, chat. So the objective for this one is to meet three new friends and practice your conversation skills in French. So you see they start off the conversation with this person saying bonjour. Just like in the exercises, if you cannot remember what a word means, uh, you will sometimes see the lines under the word as you do here, and you can click on that so you can get the translation of the word. So that, that's there to help you out. But basically in these chats, you're just typing back from your own knowledge. So I'm going to go ahead and start out and just type bonjour. Now you see under where I'm typing, there's a help me reply button. And if you click that, which I'm going to click right now, it will give you suggestions of what you might say. So if you're stumped, you can click that but I'm sure if you do, they probably take some points away from you or something. I don't, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and click Mademoiselle and say send. Comment ça va? So you see my answer showed up 
um, under hers, and then she said something else. So now she wants to know how I'm doing, so I'm gonna reply to that. Super. Moi, je vais très bien. So you... I'll wait till she answers. Je voudrais te présenter mes amis. Tout d'abord, Robert. Tu peux lui dire bonjour. Okay, so... You see, after my message here, um, there's great answer to XP. So if they really, really like your answer, it's a really good answer, you know, you put some extra effort into it then you get more points um, and I believe these are the points that are used in the end for your stars uh, so I had some great answers the first time but I guess not enough for them and that's why I only got two stars so it just continues on um, she's going to introduce us to a few friends so then the next uh, things in this conversation are to talk to the friends so now she wants you to say Bonjour to this friend, so I'm going to do that. His name is Robert, so I'm just going to go ahead and use his name. I'm going to try to get some extra points here. Robert va bien, mais il est occupé. Il mange. Que mange Robert? So now they've put this picture up about Robert, and now they're asking you what's going on in the picture, basically. Uh, again, if you do not understand, you can click on the words with the lines, but I know what this means, so I will just reply. Bravo. Robert adore la pizza. Il est chef dans un restaurant. Et maintenant, voici Gabrielle. Elle est chauffeuse de taxi. Dis-lui salut. So this is the second friend. And I'm going to do a similar thing to try to get extra points so I can get the most stars or whatever. Gabrielle va très bien. Elle aime bien lire. Qu'est-ce qu'elle lit? reading the paper doing good so far getting great oui. answers elle adore lire le journal pour finir je te présente Tina dis lui coucou Tina va bien. Elle est avec son animal de compagnie. Quel est l'animal de Tina? So you can see that it, it just keeps, you know, try to keep the conversation going and keep you engaged and you just have to keep replying until you get to the end. Um, this is the last friend, so I should be near the end soon. Uh, so I'll go ahead and finish this out.
Bravo, tu fais des progrès. Mais maintenant, c'est l'heure de dire au revoir à mes amis. Dis-leur au revoir. So I'm saying bye to everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and put their names. I don't know, maybe that'll give me more points. Who knows? No, it won't let me. So I'll just leave it as au revoir. Tu vas bien te revoir, Robert, Tina et Gabriel. À bientôt. So that chat is complete. And you click continue, and then it tells you how you did. So this time, I got three stars instead of the two. Um, so you earn the XP based on how good your answers are. And then once you go through one, another one opens for you. So now I have this Cheek Boutique one. And as I go along, there will be more. So if you're bored with the regular exercises, you know, you're tired of just practicing the same things over and over again, this might be something that you enjoy doing or at least take up a little more time for you. Um, it's it's kind of cool because it simulates a chat it's just a different way of learning, but there's nothing better than actual real conversation. So you might want to watch my video about Tandem if you're interested in that, because that's an app that can be used for just that. Um, but this just shows you the chat function that is in Duolingo. Um, if you click on one of these chats again, it starts you all over. So you can keep doing this, these if you want to. They count towards your streak, as you saw. Um, so this, this can be another way to get some practice in with Duolingo that's not as monotonous as doing the regular exercises and practicing weak words over and over again. So that's just another thing I'm gonna be doing to practice my French. I'll get through all these probably pretty quickly. It's not that many of them. And something you can try too. Until next time.